get right into the headlines. Some breaking news from the Russia investigation. According to CNN, special counsel Robert Mueller's report about whether Donald Trump colluded with the Russians could be released as early as next week. Yeah, this investigation has gone on for almost two years, and I am so excited that finally, after all this waiting and anticipation, absolutely nothing is going to change. <laughs> It's the hope that kills you. Remember that. <laughs> After the report comes out, it will still take another week to get a reaction from President Trump because his staff will have to read the report and then turn it into a picture book. <laughs> it's, been a... it's been a long two years for the special counsel. After the report is concluded, Mueller says he's just looking forward to going back to his regular job as Sam the Eagle from The Muppets. <laughs> he said he can't wait. Speaking of the president, this morning, Donald Trump welcomed Senator Bernie Sanders to the presidential race, and he did it with grace and dignity. I'm kidding. <laughs> he wrote, Crazy Bernie has just entered the race. I wish him well. <laughs> Trump called him Crazy Bernie. I feel like once you pose for this photo, you really forfeit the right to call <laughs> other people crazy. Don't you? Uh, but I must admit, the tweet was kind of refreshing. It's a nice change to see Trump being passive-aggressive instead of his just usual aggressive-aggressive, you know? <laughs> Moving on, this was a crazy story. A man in New, uh, New Jersey recently robbed a home, right, and then ordered a lift as a getaway car. <laughs> <laughs> when the car arrived, he jumped inside only to realise he had mistakenly entered an unmarked police car. <laughs> this is the shortest season of True Detective ever. <laughs> it actually took a while for the guy to realise what was happening. When the police put him in his jail cell, he was like, oh, great, is this my Airbnb? <laughs> Although the burglar should have known it wasn't a Lyft driver as soon as he got into the car and wasn't overwhelmed with the smell of cheap cologne. <laughs> And finally, we wanted to show you this. Customers at a supermarket in Hong Kong were recently surprised by three visitors who wandered in off the street. We've got a video here. Have a look. <laughs> Cows were just roaming free in the produce aisle. Imagine the surprise. Like, the butcher at the meat counter must have been like... Finally, they've come for me. <laughs> oh, my God. The situation was pretty dangerous for customers. You could say there was a lot at stake. <laughs> Thank you. No, don't. Gutsy move. Gus, these cows, they were ready to brisk it all. <laughs> Stop it. Cows roaming in a supermarket, grazing on produce. There's only one way to describe this. Utter madness. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.